This, now more than ever, feels like luxury. With the stay at home message back in force on both sides of the border, for many a walk on the beach and doing the food shop will be some of the only activities to break up the day. A community group in Eyemouth is keeping people fed, providing food packages and keeping unwanted supermarket stock out of landfill. Five minutes after it was announced, the phone started going for people who want to know if we're still there to do their shopping and just to see what help's available and we are still there. We've never went away. The village of Reston only has 600 residents, but their community larder, run by volunteers, helps people in the local area and other parts of the borders. We were um, astonished really by the amount. Because we have areas of deprivation, we, we didn't envisage as much as what we were asked for. It is very difficult. People are very proud and you find that they'll only ask for help when it actually is rock bottom and they're really struggling. Uh, it's a shame because we'll have a lot of food that will go to landfill but we can actually give to them before. And for service users, it's not just about food, it's a sense of community. But it is always good to see people because it would be very easy, I think, for people to feel quite isolated in, in all of this. And it has been. And this is a wee bit of a focal point, you know. Down the road, another community group, Imal Food Bank, were delivering 70 parcels of food a month during the first lockdown. They expect to be back at their peak levels during the coming weeks. Just huge disappointment. Um, and, and worry, this new strain is more virulent, so we're having to up our protocols and make sure that we can keep um, our volunteers safe. We have a big team of volunteers, um, but also the people that we're delivering to. Well, we asked people in Eyemouth how they felt going back into lockdown. But I think living alone is kind of difficult as we go into another lockdown. Um, I do know people, older people that live on their own, vulnerable people that are now having to shield again for the second time within a year. Um, and I think that's really difficult for them. At the moment it's not too bad, but I think we will struggle, obviously. The last time it was a lot easier being in March with the weather, I would say, but yeah, I think keeping them occupied will be a lot harder. We've got home learning packs as well to use. Um, no, don't, not really. Well, the weather may be completely different this time around, but much like last time, communities are banding together to help each other through these ever-changing tides. Jennifer Cordingly, ITV News, iMouth.